explosion. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and we just witnessed the construction of our very first large freighter, the Incarcatura. Uh, very excited to, to uh, get started using this. Uh, we're not actually finished with it yet, though. I don't have any shields on it because I want to put the Talati shields on it. We're con uh, currently in Antigone Memorial. Uh, this is an Incarcatura Sentinel, too. Did I... I don't know. Did I already say that? <laughs> Maybe I did. Uh, so, you know, it's the tougher version of the ship. So, uh, I have the fleet here. Uh, well, I have the destroyer fleet here. The Rattlesnake and, and the Chimeras. I uh, showed you at the very beginning of the video us um, absolutely annihilating a K. Uh, hardly had to bat an eyebrow on that. I do need to, you know, I'm still getting used to all of this, right? Uh, used to the Rattlesnake and how quickly it took that thing out. Um, so... I need to pull my fighters back a little sooner than I did. None of them were killed, but, you know, a couple of them did, you know, t take a little bit of damage from the final explosion. Um, and the other thing I need to do is I need to strafe a little bit better. I, I was able to dodge two of the four incoming barrages from the K uh, just by strafing away from them. Um, so, but overall, you know, we, we completely just absolutely wasted that K and we didn't lose our shields on our ship even though they did come down a little bit uh, so I was pretty pleased with how that first engagement with the rattlesnake versus a K worked out I didn't catch this on camera but before I, I started uh, before the K came into the system there was just a whole mess of xenon hanging out at that gate and we went in and just bopped him up and I was getting ready to to then leave the system to come over here to Antigone to get you know with our final load of hull parts to get, make the Incarcatura and then the K popped in, and so that's when I, I started the recording. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get on over back to our destroyer here. I just borrowed one of uh, the Chimeras to do the little cinematic there for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I, You know, this game is just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. The music 
is amazing. Uh, to the point where I'm reconsidering maybe purchasing the soundtracks. Um, you know, I just love that piece uh, that's playing in the background right now. Normally when I do like cinematics and montages and stuff like that in my videos, I use, you know, external music. Um, I have a subscription to Epidemic Sound. But the music is so good in this game that it's, I, I just want to use it. Um, the only problem with that, though, is that then we sometimes get the background chatter and stuff, too. So I think I could probably, for when I'm doing those somatics, I think I can turn those off. S uh, total music, ambient, UI. Probably the UI... If we turn down the UI volume and the voice volume, that would probably fix that. So yeah, the next time I do one of these, hopefully I'll remember uh, to turn that stuff down. And then it then it doesn't interfere. Um, yeah, but the music is just great. The visuals in this game are amazing. And uh, I really enjoy, you know, making those little cinematics. I hope you guys enjoy them too, especially, you know, for some of these really important milestone moments where we get our first destroyer and our first large freighter, that sort of thing. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's hop back into the rattlesnake. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to escort the Incarcatura to Talati space so we can fit it out with shields. Um, so it is currently fitted with with plasma turrets. And the reason for that is because you guys told me in the comments that um the plasma turrets work generally work the best out of sector, um, and I'm not. Uh, I'll probably you you know use the incarcator a little bit myself just for the fun of it, but you know its primary operation is going to be uh, out of sector. So you say in that case the plasma turrets are going to work best because they it's just a numbers game at that point, which does make sense. Uh, the other thing about the incarcator as well was I was planning on having my advanced traders use it but you guys also told me in the comments that i was asked to try oh, for pete's cargo. sake now who's who it is who is it it's trader for okay hold on we got to deal with this um let me just keep the game pause for a second while i express these thoughts so you said that the in or any large freighter for that matter is not really good for advanced auto trading because uh of just the time it takes and probably because in some cases they might fill up the whole, you know, the, the hold like 5% and they go halfway across the galaxy just to deliver that, which does make sense. Um, so I was in, uh, in advised or recommended, I should say, that instead we use the, the large freighter for the station because it'll work a lot better with the station because then that, that way it can grab, um, you know, all kinds of goods and, and really load up and then go out and sell them. So that does make sense and I think we will in fact to do that the other nice thing about that is that we don't need a high level captain because it's the the manager of the station that controls you know the number of jumps and that sort of thing uh however we are going to put the ship on basically retaliate or stand its ground when it does get attacked and i will have a complement of fighters uh, to escort it as well all right anyway uh we were going to look at the what the incarcatura has uh, so first of all, let's grab it and oh no, we got to take care of Trader Four. Um, let's see what's going on here. Uh, one of the things I need to do. Oh, yeah, he's really close. Dang. All right, what I want you to do. Let's bring up this behavior. I want you to remove all orders. I want you to ignore and I want you to immediately dock. I want you guys to come over here and take out this Prometheus. The, the Prometheuses are the, the biggest pain in the butt uh, because they're classed as a transporter, not a fighter. So my fighters don't go after it like on an intercept automatically. But th these these things are armed to the teeth, and um, they really cause me a lot of grief. Uh, I wouldn't actually mind owning a few mind owning a few of those too. But let's go ahead and unpause, and hopefully this guy can get docked before he gets pounded here. Yeah, I, he's not gonna make it. 
Son of a bitch. Here, let me pause the game again for a second. Trader 4, well, it doesn't matter. Trader 4 is at least a three-star pilot. We don't want to lose him. Um, I don't know if he's going to make it, though. We're taking hits. I know. Get in dock as quick as possible. Fighters, get your ass over here. Hurry up. We're going to lose this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to be okay. Whew, that was close. All right, let's watch uh, hopefully the fighter. Well, usually what happens is a Prometheus then runs away, uh, as he's doing now. So I just make sure the fighters chase him way the hell off. Well, maybe this one will intercept him. No. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, good, good. So... We could kill him. That would be wonderful. Come on, guys, get moving! <laughs> They're so damn slow. Of course, I guess you know. One of you guys did point this out to me in the comments too. Um, we are in an area with like asteroids and stuff, so that's probably contributing to why these guys are slower. I don't. I, I mean, that's a good point, but it's not the case every time. They're still derpy as all get out. We're gonna lose this fighter too because these guys are on their frickin' coffee break. But, you know, that's what he's there for. We want to save the trader and more specifically the pilot. Now his shields are coming back. He might survive. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not likely. I just hope he holds him there long enough for these guys to engage him. Yep, he's down. Okay, so he's going to escape because these guys decided, you know, they had until next Christmas to get over there. And we lost a fighter out of the deal. So, yeah. I, uh, frustrating. They're, n they're not going to catch him now. He's out of here. Yeah, these ships are brutal, you guys. These Prometheuses. Um, the only way that I know of that I can get the blueprint for them so I can make them myself is to befriend the Bucks, but that doesn't that doesn't really work for our our playthrough here because we are 110% anti-pirate. So we're going to we're going to destroy them. I know we could capture some of these ships and we might try and do that at some point. But you know, I wouldn't I'd love to mass produce those ships. But you know, that's probably not going to happen in this playthrough. All right, well let's let these guys chase him down for a little while and I'll come back and check on Trader 4 in a little bit to, to get... Well, actually, you know what? Let's just tell Trader 4 to resume right now. Um, so he should be fine for now. Okay, so we were going to look at the Incarcatura uh, and how I kitted it out. Um, before we do that, though, we should get underway so that way we're, we're moving. Um, so you follow uh, Destroyer Fleet... Um, this station, yeah, we better keep this station hauler with us because we might need some more components to get the Talati shields fitted on this thing too. So he's going to stay with us, uh, until we get this figured out. Oh, uh, you know what? Did we lose? No, we didn't. I, I was going to say, did we lose a Chimera, but I had to send him to get repaired. So let's have him come on back. And put him in the intercept group, or her, as the case may be. Yeah, I had to send them down to get a repair because they were slightly damaged. So, anyway, my plan for my advanced traders. We got to get them out of these really fragile Hermes ships. You know, um, early on in the game, it seemed to work reasonably well for them to outrun them. But that's just not happening anymore as the game becomes more dangerous. So we need to get them in the toughest possible medium transport ship that we can get, which will probably be a Talati Vulture Sentinel, and then just give them, you know, a wing of fighters so they can survive long enough for the fighters to take out the enemy. Um, I'm also considering possibly going with the um, Argon uh, 
Oh, man, my brain's not working. The Argon Transporter, because it has two turrets on it, and it can, you know, that can really help with the fight. But I have to do those comparisons. I'll do that later. Um, all right, so the Incar Katura is following us. It is a very slow ship, but that's to be uh, expected. It's a big Mack truck is what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and start moving towards the gate. Uh, so I want you. In fact, let's just kind of set our ultimate destination, which is going to probably be 18 billion. Uh, so let's do a fly and wait. Yeah, so they're just making sure everybody's together and then the, and then Cali will start flying over there. All right, now, um, the loadout in the, of the Incarcatura is pretty much, I think, what I showed you guys a couple of episodes ago. Let's just look at it here because we'll be able to see it better. Incarcatura Sentinel OG Freighter. Um, so I put all-around drives on it because the travel speed on a travel drive is 1439 on an all-around drive it's 1419 it's only 20 more meters per second that's nothing uh, and this is a cheaper drive uh, so we put the all-around on there as uh, I showed you we have no shield so we're gonna have to really protect this thing as we get it through to Argon space um, I just have the cheapest thrusters on it because again this is not about maneuverability shield generators there's no shields on it yet all the turrets are plasma turrets for out-of-sector combat um, I do have, I, I think I did put the high-end software on the first ship because, again, I might operate it myself from time to time just for funds, funsies. So I'm pretty sure I put that on the on our in, in Karkatura. Consumables, a bunch of laser towers. Now, I can tell it to drop a laser tower and flee, but I don't want it to flee is the thing. I want it to stand its ground and fight. So I might, you know, once it, when it alerts me that it's under attack, I'll probably manually tell it to drop some laser towers. But I threw a couple satellites and nav beacons and resources in there, too, and, and a load of flares. Probably won't use those a whole lot. And then, of course, a full service crew. It can hold up to 172 crew, which is awesome. Entering system. Um, so, Avoid. Um, yeah. We need to pay attention here because there are a, a, a lot of xenon here in the void and... And in Flashpoint, a second contact Flashpoint, which is where we did that battle with the K. Uh, so that's kind of the gauntlet we have to run through. I'm not at all worried about, you know, the Rattlesnake and the Chimeras, but uh, again, we don't want the end Carcaterra to take any hits. So we might actually run through there first and kind of clear it out before we uh, bring the end Carcaterra through. And it's still... Oh yeah, this thing is so slow. <laughs> Is it like caught up on the shipyard or something? Oh my goodness, that's going to take a long time. Okay, well, I think what I'll do then, guys, is I'll cut the camera here. Um, and wait for that thing to catch up. And then we'll carefully make our way through the void. And then really carefully uh, make our way through second uh, contact to Flashpoint. Because it's this area here that the Xenon are just thick as flies. Uh, so I will bring you back with an update uh, when something exciting happens. Hanging out by the gate. I took five of my chimeras. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? That guy again, huh? Um, I took five of my chimeras and put them directly on defending the Encarcatura. Oh, this is such a pain in the butt. I can't wait until I, I don't have to babysit these guys all the time. All right, so Trader 4 is once again um, under attack, and it looks like we might have lost a couple more of his fighters, too. Um, where are your fighters, by the way? Oh, they're right there. Okay. I want to send them over there to distract him. And I want you to 
remove your orders and you're still probably on ignore there which is fine in this particular case uh, let's get you docked again I don't have time to be dealing with you right now man See what's going on here. I got a few M's. What's that? A Terran. Oh, uh, by the way, you guys told me in the comments also that there is a gate in um, uh, Cigars that leads to the Terran sectors, and I just need to look for it a little bit better, which is very cool. I'm glad I was I'm pleased to hear that because I thought. I might have had to advance that that quest line before it opens up. So, as soon as it makes sense to do so, I'm going to start looking for that gate, and I'm going to look for it directly because I I've put my scouts on explore that whole sector and they still didn't find the gate, or uh, either that or they did and I didn't realize it. <laughs> That's always a possibility too. Uh, let's look again. Yeah, see, this entire sector has been completely uncovered. Um, so if that, wherever that gate happens to be, whether it's in Sigaris itself or in Guy in Prophecy, it's it's going to be beyond the normal borders, which means I need to look for it myself. Um, but again, we'll we'll do that later. Uh, we have a uh, other things going on right now. Okay, let's get back to here. So, I don't, man, that guy is just taking forever and a day. So what what we're going to do is we're just going to hang out here at the at the gate and keep the xenon thinned out until he gets to us. And I'm also a little high higher above the ecliptic as you can see too because this is a hazardous zone right through here. So that way the incarcator because remember it doesn't have any shields will come up and fly up above that. I know that if I'm out of sector, it doesn't matter, but I need to stay in sector because it's dangerous right now with all these enemies. So, okay, let's unpause here. I just hope that, you know, we don't get like a K or something really bad coming through while we're trying to get the Incarcatura through. I'm starting to wonder if maybe it, it wasn't wise for me not to put any shields on it. It's just that we lose money if we buy shields there and then you know, and then replace them later. Of course, not as much money as if we lost the Incarcator itself. So. Okay, well, anyway, I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little bit. Ah, crap. Uh, a K just came through. Uh, so, what we're going to have to do is... Okay, he's above the... Yeah, he should be fine there. Uh, as far as the hazard part goes, but we need to grab all the fighters. Um, remove assignments. And I want you guys to attack the engines. And I want you guys to attack the turrets. And I want you to get out of there like pronto. Um, go fly off over this way. Okay, and then let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let's target him. Oh, I also want you to attack capital ships, except for you guys attack fighters.
up and to the side here. You're not in a good position right now. Yeah, I know I got hull damage. Just shut up. I've got a full set of uh, repair drones, so I'm not worried about the hull damage. Okay, we got him. Yeah, that was just a really bad position for me. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we survived it, and I don't think we lost... Um, here, let me put that on for a second. I don't think we lost any fighters. Those guys are fine. Very minor shield damage, or hull damage. Yeah, they're good. Okay. So hopefully we can get out of here before another K shows up. But just terrible positioning for me. But I think, you know, overall we did the best that we could. Um, let's assign this group back to intercept so they take care of the... The, the smaller fighters here and the waiting orders I'm gonna set you guys to I'm just gonna say you to attack all enemies Joining squad. I'm hoping that my repair drones will fix my weapons too because we got one completely damaged weapon and another one that's uh kind of in bad shape Oh yeah, look at that. There's our repair drones working on the hull. How neat, man. Something hit us. Let's um repair drone. Let's take a look at this guy. Awaiting orders. Very cool, man. I love this. <laughs> it's the little things, right? Fix us up, dude. I'm assuming, assuming they'll repair our guns, too. I mean, why wouldn't they? Awaiting orders. Yeah, they did. They repaired the one that was partially damaged. Very nice. Um, Let's watch this guy get absolutely wrecked. Oh, he's going to go through the gate and run away. Oh, those are my beams hitting him. Uh, all right, well, again, I'll bring you back with another update uh, as we try and work our way through this Xenon gauntlet here. All right, guys, we have pretty much made it through second contact here. Uh, we did have some resistance, uh, but just small ships, so no more Ks. Uh, so we took them out, and um, we're about ready to go through the gate here into Black Hole Sun 4, and then uh, the game uh, routed me or, or wanted me to go this way to get there, but I, I don't want to go through Hedekva's choice, but especially because the large ship, uh, the Incarcatura, can't use the highway because it is a large ship, um, so that would be very dangerous going through there, so we're just going to kind of go a little bit of a different route, and maybe it'll, it'll update once that happens. So, a um, couple of things. When I uh, when I built out the Incarcatura, system, black hole in fact, sun. I was kind of showing you guys this, and then we got that stuff happened. So, um, let's just kind of wait on this side of the gate until it it gets to us. So. When I built this out, I put, here, let me select it. I put 10 cargo drones, um, but I think what I'm going to do, especially after seeing some comments from you guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sell five of those back and put five repair drones on too. So it'll take a little longer for it to unload but we had a we otherwise have no repair option uh for the ship so we want to do that uh the other thing is that the ship does have two small docks on it so what i'm thinking about maybe trying just to see how well it works is putting a couple of 
Um, if we go down here and we go to buy ships, I was thinking about putting a couple of Ares heavy fighters, and I've already done a loadout for them. Um, 2.1 million for this loadout. It's got Parented Mark III combat engines, Mark II thrusters, uh, Parented shields, uh, Mark III shields. Uh, I would give it two plasma cannons for out of sector combat, so the two outsides would be plasmas, and then the two insides uh, would be bolt repeaters for taking down the smaller fighters. Um, mostly when I'm in sector, because here again, I am going to be occasionally, you know, flying this ship myself. And, uh, let's see for consumables. They just currently have flares and then a full service crew. Um, so I'm thinking about getting a couple of these. We're going to have to bring in some hull parts, which isn't a problem. And then have these just stay docked on the in Karkatura and, and, you know, it, when it gets under attack, of course they, they help defend it. I might try that first without like assigning a, a whole squadron of fighters to it and just see how well it does. And if it seems like it's struggling, you know, then we would at that point assign a, 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 full, a, a full squadron to it. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and order two of these guys up. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have to bring 443 hull parts down here. Now it looks like the... Uh, freighters with us. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's... Oh. Can we get... <coughs> Hold on a second. Why is that leading me there? Can we get over to 18 billion from there? There is another gate that I haven't explored yet. In fact, there's two gates here. Or a gate and an accelerator. Which I'm assuming goes into Windfall 1. Um, Alright, let's try something here. Let's make sure we have... If we go... Start Guidance to Object. Yeah, so that would seem to suggest we can get... Through here to over here. And that will be... One, two, three, four jumps as opposed to one, two, three, four. Well, I guess it's the same number of jumps. Any way you slice it as far as that goes. Um, I don't think I want to go an unknown route right now. Let's just stick with the known route for now. Uh, but I'll definitely, you know, be opening that up and exploring it later. Yeah, not, not while we're still trying to get this ship uh, outfitted with no shields on it. Uh, one thing I am going to do, though, is I'm going to pull off one of my... Oh, I have some bad news. We lost Station Hauler 1 back in the void. Um, you know, I, I tried to get it away from the, the fight with the K, which I, it was able to get away, but then I think it got tagged by some, some smaller ships. So uh, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to just rename this guy to Station Hauler 1. And at some point, I'll, I'll re... Well, what I'm actually going to do, and I think I mentioned this to you guys, I'm going to pull... I'm going to give these guys um, probably decked out Vulture Sentinels, and then the Hermes that they're currently in, I'll just, I'll just give to the station. Uh, all right. So anyway, let's see. Are you... Any of you guys empty? You are. Okay. So I want you to remove whatever current orders you have. I want you to go to the headquarters get a load of hull parts and then bring those down and sell them to the wharf here in Holy Vision okay and then when he's done with that, then he should kick back into uh, working for the station. Good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, I'm going to actually take all of my damaged fighters 
and have them go repair here while we're um, en route to our destination. Uh, so, uh, once again, I will bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. Okay, guys, we are coming into River Industries headquarters here. And uh, we're going... Whoop, okay. I guess we're docking. I don't know why it likes to dock upside down. It's kind of weird, but anyway. Um, what we are going to do here is we have um, uh, the Encarcatura, which is uh, I have renamed Freighter 1. Because frankly, it's easier to say Freighter 1 than Encarcatura. <laughs> Even though that's kind of a cool name. Um, so that, uh, he is now, uh, he, she, whatever, is now on their own power uh, coming into dock to do the drone exchange uh, before we take it up to Talati Space to get its shields. I'm going to have them drop off half of their cargo drones and then pull in five repair drones. Uh, I don't think I told you guys this, but we have, um, uh, I've got the, the Nemesis uh, patrolling Grand Exchange 4 with this fighter squadron. And I have the Cerberus patrolling... Uh, Grand Exchange 3 with this fighter squadron. So that way we have a little faster response time if there's any attacks in those two sectors. Uh, or even in, in Grand Exchange 1. Now, several of you guys have mentioned how in your games you set up basically like a gate blockade. Um, and that's something that I probably will uh, start thinking about doing. But the thing is, is you know, the advanced traders, for example, uh, well, even in and the station traders, too, I mean, they can jump three to four sectors away. So, you know, setting that up is going to take quite a bit of resources and quite a bit of time. That's not to say we won't do it. But, um, yeah, I'll have to kind of think about how I want that to, to go, uh, at least in terms of how it would apply to, you know, to those traders that go further out. And then, of course, you know, we still have a lot more map to uncover, too. And uh, that makes that process even a little more complicated. So uh, it, it's on the to-do list. We'll put it that way. Okay, so let's just wait for the freighter to get into dock. And we'll have it exchange its drones. And then um, what I probably will do is I'll just meet you guys up at uh, the shipyard in 18 billion to get the shields. Um, unless something... Uh, happens between now and then that is camera worthy okay so i'll see you in a bit okay guys we're docked at the station in the freighter and i want to do a couple of things it occurred to me that if if this freighter gets attacked by a destroyer uh, which has happened a couple of times now uh mostly in boron space by an sca behemoth you know or, or a talati style destroyer um we're going to need more than just two fighters to deal with that situation. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back down to Paranid Space. Excuse me. We're going to purchase eight more um, heavy airy spiders. Uh, incidentally, I love the way these spiders look. They're badass looking. So especially once they get the guns on them. Um, I just really like the look of this ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to go high preset OG. Let's just double check things again. Um, so we got the combat Mark 3s. We got the Mark 2 thrusters. We got the shields. Just the basic software. Um, yeah, okay. And then uh, for... For guns, again, we have plasma cannons on the outsides, and we have bolt caster, or bolt repeaters, rather, on the, the two inside guns. We could outfit a couple of these with... Where are the... Hmm. I thought the Paradigm was supposed to have a, a beam... Some kind of special beam weapon. Not the beam emitter, but a special beam weapon. 
Um, but I'm not seeing it here. <laughs> I can't remember. I think they were. I can't remember what they were called. There was some kind of special beam that's supposed to be just devastating against surface elements. Um. Let's see. Go up to Trinity Sanctum. Ah, oh, crap. We can't get the. We can't get the Ares up here. We can only get it from HOP. But what we could do, yeah, burst ray. That's what I'm thinking. Can we fit a burst ray on an Ares? We should be able to, because it's just a small ship. Um, let's go here. And small ship, Ares heavy fighter. Burst ray. Yeah, it'll let us do it. All right, well, one burst ray costs 121000 That's not that expensive. I mean, it's expensive, but it's not like... It's it's actually quite a bit less than a Mark II bolt... Uh, less than half the price of a Mark II bolt repeater. Okay, so yeah, that's actually not that expensive at all, um, comparatively speaking. So what we could do is... I could fit... I could either have some of the fighters have burst rays and some of them have bolt repeaters and all of them have um, plasma cannons. Or I could have like a couple of dedicated, well, if we have dedicated burst ray ships and they get blown up, I'd, I'd rather the whole entire squadron be able to handle handle it. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we do a loadout of the Ares with two plasma cannons and two burst rays and not use the bolt repeaters that's only going to be potentially an issue in sector but out of sector it shouldn't it shouldn't really matter so much and most of the, most of this action is going to be happening out of sector anyway so that's what i'm kind of thinking and we could even just keep the the first two areas that we already have um with bolt repeaters and then use burst race for the rest. It's going to be a lot cheaper to do that, too. So I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so now that I kind of figured that out, let's go back to the map here. And I'm going to order up another eight Ares Heavy Fighters. This ship is going to be so well protected, it's going to be ridiculous. Okay, so let's go small, Ares Heavy Fighter, I preset OG, except for we're going to remove the bolt repeaters. Oh wow, these bolt repeaters are, are cheaper than they are at the other place. How interesting. Uh, nope, uh, we want to remove these all together because what I'll do is then I'll then send these ships up to the other spot to get the burst rates. And I think that'll that should be a pretty good you know overall um, arrangement. Uh, again, primarily for out of sector. It's probably not ideal for in sector, but it's and, and that doesn't mean they're gonna be completely ineffective in sector either. They will be, but just not as effective with this setup. And I think it'll be good for out of sector. And again, I'm I'm mostly concerned with destroyer defense so the idea is that if the freighter gets attacked by a destroyer and i'm like way across the galaxy then i just tell the 10 Ares to attack the destroyer um probably the fastest thing for them to do is just take out the destroyer's engines so the freighter can get away from it um and then you know then we've basically taken its teeth out that's that's the basic idea here okay so with that being said let's go ahead and order up eight more of these because we already have the two 
9.9 million, okay. Confirm the order. And I'm sure we're going to need to bring some more hull parts down here. Yeah, we're going we're need, gonna to need to bring some hull parts, which we can do. I'll take care of that later. Um, so we're starting to run out of time in this episode. Okay, now, here's the other thing I want to do. Um, I want to tell, uh, or rather, I want to assign Freighter 1 to Reaver Industries. I think I need to be out of the pilot's seat to do this. Um... So it's just got to hold. I, I just don't want it to take off as soon as I get up. Okay, so let's get out of out of the, off the helm here and get the captain back. Hello there. Hello there, Captain Serene Rainer. Okay. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign Freighter One to Reaver Industries. Trade for Commander. Um, in beta. I'm going to let our manager of our station decide what to put on the ship, but as soon as it undocks, I'm going to temporarily take it over and bring it uh, up to Talati Space to get its shields on. Okay, so. Um, I'm just curious what, what the station's going to do. So let's select the freighter. And it's probably going to take it a little while for it to think about what it wants to do. What what I was going to originally do is load up the stuff myself, but I got to thinking, well, let's just let this, the manager worry about all that stuff instead of me doing it. And I'm curious to see. Oh, look at that, man. We can go five sectors now with this manager. Um, nice. Hurilus, Hurilus. He's on his way to being a full five-star manager. Good job, Hurilus, Hurilus. So completely loaded up with silicon wafers. That is going to make a ton of money, you guys. Wow, look at all that. Okay. Yeah, I think this, this is going to be a good idea. Uh, and thanks to you guys in the comments for telling me to use the freighter to trade for the station we have new orders. especially since Navigation. it can go f five jumps to the following position acknowledged all right cool so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to um i'm going to take command and um Run up to Talati space and get the shields on this thing. And I think what I'll do is... Why, am I, why do I keep spinning? Let's put the auto level thing on. Um, I'll, I'll send some of the Hermes down, uh, down with some hull parts to get the rest of the Ares going. And then go from there. So, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Not sure what we'll do in the next episode. Uh, lots of things coming up. Lots of things we need to do. And we'll figure it out and have a good time in the process. See y'all later. Bye-bye.